Hey, what's going on everyone? Kenan here and today we've got uh, some crazy news. Uh, Lagatha is not doing well. Um, she's just crashed. Uh, I don't know what's going on with her and uh, I've also got to deal with this little puppy who just stole one of my tools. Little rascal here. He stole one of my little tools that we're going to be using today. No, Lobo. No, you little rascal. Nope, 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 nope. I'm learning about puppies. They grab everything. You gotta stay right there, buddy. Oh, he's cute though, isn't he? But um, no, um, basically what happened, guys, is the other day I wound up, I wound up uh, going to see Laggy, going to feed her. And she was on her, uh, you know, she was on her box. Um, I had put some eggs out. She didn't eat any eggs. And then I, I went back, uh, you know, this happens from time to time. Sometimes she doesn't eat. Um, and then, you know, what happens is I go back and I feed her again and she winds up, you know, eating. But I went and offered her a rodent and she didn't want the rodent. And so you can see, you know, she's got good weight. I brought her immediately to the vet. And what happened was we wound up, um, doing an x-ray and we didn't see any blockages or anything wrong she's not developing follicles that we could see uh, we tried to get blood from her because I wanted to send blood out for a blood test um, and you know nothing was happening man um, you know we couldn't get any blood uh, but you can see she's just not her normal self and this is absolutely alarming um, her enclosure is fine um, the only thing I can guess is that in February we did have some cold snaps uh, her heaters were on but you know I just wonder if she maybe through the stress of having to be locked up for a few days maybe she did get sick so we've been giving her septazidine injections she got her first injection she'll get her next one 72 hours later but what I have been doing every day is I, I have been tube feeding her this critical care carnivore uh, preparation and the other good thing about it is it's got a lot of liquid so I'm doing 60 milliliters of liquid with this carnivore diet uh, mixed into it so I can keep nutrients in her now as you can imagine though she is a croc monitor and this can be challenging so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and tube feed her and then what I want to do is I want to also uh, place her in this outdoor enclosure only for the day because I want her to get natural sunlight. I want her to be surrounded by greenery. Um, I do think it helps. Um, she's been a couple days in this box in the dark on a heat pad, um, and I just want her to have a reason to live. And I, I borrow this term, um, and I'm, I'm borrowing it from my buddy Tom Crutchfield. Uh, when Jerry, my buddy Jerry, had the black throat that wasn't doing well, um, we went ahead and we put that animal uh, through a lot of intense um you know medical um assistance and finally we had done absolutely everything we could have done for it um and then what happened was i called tom crutchfield and he's like kenny you got to give that lizard a reason to live and once we did that we put it outside um and offered it food it really did help it turn around now she still has good weight um i you know, I'm keeping her warm. I'm going to pull her in uh, for the evenings and keep her uh, in here on this uh, heating pad uh, just to keep her, you know, her temperatures up. But during the day, we're at 85 degrees and then under basking on rocks, it's going to be in 100 degrees. So I just really want her um, taken care of. So I'm going to go ahead and pull her out and I'm going to show you how I have to deal with tube feeding her. And hopefully Lobo uh, doesn't get into too much trouble here. He's a little character. Um, I love this little guy. You got anything in your mouth? We love this little dude. He's gonna be the new mascot, and he's been so good around the animals. So obviously, if I have to, what's the matter, buddy? If I have to, I'll uh, go ahead and put him up. But I think he's being good, and I think he knows to stay away from our little uh, girl, Lagatha. So super frustrating, guys. Um, you know, a word on animals that get sick. I've had animals get sick here. It's it's what happens, you know. I try and provide them with the absolute best environments, but you know, things happen because at the end of the day, you know, these animals are thousands and thousands of miles away from where they originate. Um, so, uh, you know, it's frustrating. It's a challenge, um, but the key is is that we don't ignore it. 
when I notice something's wrong, I get right on it. Um, and that's the best I can do. And I've got a great vet in Dr. Mike Gillen. Um, so, you know, we started the first course of antibiotics, as I mentioned, and I'm going to aggressively treat her and see if we can get her going. I know, you know, it's tough, man. Look, I put my life out there on YouTube and, you know, I get people that are going to say, you know, uh, you know, what's going on? Too many animals are getting sick. Hey, listen, man, it, it is what it is. I put it out there and sometimes we have successes with these animals. We turn them around and other times, sadly, they just they don't respond to treatment. Um, seeing her like this has got me bummed out. So there's nothing that anyone can write that's gonna hurt me more than just seeing this animal sick. So I go ahead and I show you guys everything because I, I believe in transparency and um, I just wanna do the right thing by these animals. So we're gonna go and grab her out and you can see, normally guys, you know, this lizard, she's a fighter. So I, I am very worried about her. Um, I love her, you know, I want her to be okay, but, uh, you know, to do that, I've now got to, you know, do this feeding, this tube feeding. So I'm going to put you guys down here. And again, this may look traumatic for some of you, uh, the tube feeding process, but what we want to do, okay, this is good. She's actually a little bit more responsive today, which is nice, but I need to gently get her mouth open. Okay. There you go, there you go. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just keep this in here like this, and then I hold it, okay? So this, and I, I like that she's fighting a bit today. She wasn't fighting too much the other day. Um, and again, with this, we're just gonna take this tube and gently, okay, place it down the throat, okay, gently. What happens is if I hit a snag, I just back it out, and then gently move forward again. And her neck's a little crooked. And I'm doing this, I'm one person doing this. Uh, usually you'd have some more people. And of course, Lobo has found the masks. Okay, let's do this. All right, so this is now well past her trachea, so I don't have any worries about getting anything down her windpipe. So I just push this stuff down, like so, okay? Push it down, push it down. Now, I really, I forgot, I should have had another cup of water because I would have sucked more water uh, into the syringe and then pumped out the, the tube because obviously I can't get all the material that was in the tube. But she does have, I just want to give her enough liquids, okay? That's the big thing. We want liquids for this girl. Now, I just gently slide this out, okay? And being that she's a little croc monitor, with incredibly sharp uh, claws. I'm just gonna hold on to her jaws here and I'm gonna put on one of these gloves, <clears throat> okay? Because her claws are insane. So I'm gonna just lift her like this. We're gonna grab her by the neck, grab her up, okay? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, I gotta get you guys here too. Now, normally, Lagatha is a hellion. Um, she's got bright eyes. She's just holding on, but she would normally be struggling. And I just, like I said, I want to put her out in this cage. And it's always good to keep a cage. Here comes Lunatic. My little Lunatic Lobo. What a good dog, though. I love him. He loves being around me. But basically, guys, what I want to do is I just want to put her in a nice little environment that she can feel comfortable in, okay? I just wanted to, to act more like herself, okay? So I wanna put her in here, but you guys know, normally this lizard would be really annoyed at me. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if she somehow got uh, poisoned by anything. Um, I haven't fed her any, um, any wild caught, you know, rodents or anything like that. She's got a little mark here, but that looks like it's just some shed about to happen. Um, there's no obvious problems with her, okay? And I hope I can turn her around. And if that's the case, if I can turn her around, she's not tried to bite me, but you know, I'm looking at her. Her eyes are not really sunken in, um, but there's definitely, obviously, something is not right with Lagatha. 
So I wanted to see how she responds to being outside today. And I'm going to pull her in later on. And um, I will put her back into... I'll put her back into this, uh, you know, this, this box for the evening under a heat pad just to make sure that she keeps the right heat. Now, again, she's got some shade now. It's nice and warm. Uh, I'd like to see her moving around a bit, but we'll see how she behaves. If she is in the sun and doesn't move out of the sun, I'll move her out of the sun because I don't want her to overheat. I don't know if she's uh, that sick that she can't move. But this was literally a very, very quick um, deterioration of her normal behavior. So I want to make sure um, that I'm aggressive in treating her. And that's what we've been doing. So she'll get another round of uh, septazidine uh, in about 72 hours. And, you know, once we finish a course of antibiotics um, and continue to in, in tube feeder with liquids and some nutrients, um, I'm hoping I can turn her around. Beyond that, I just don't know what else I can do. Now, like I said, we didn't see any follicles. I may x-ray her again. It's possible uh, she's having some kind of um, problem developing egg follicles. I know a few other, uh, Jerry told me that there were a few uh, reptile or croc monitor keepers that have seen that their animals are cycling. Um, females can go off feed when cycling. Unfortunately, though, they, they don't lose any mobility. That's the thing. Um, they may come off eating, but uh, she does look fat in the midsection. Uh, the doc and I didn't see obvious uh, follicles, but, you know, we could be wrong. There might be some kind of cyst on one of the follicles that's annoying her, um, in which case it would need to be some kind of uh, operation, which is, you know, sketchy when you're operating on these guys. But she's breathing, her eyes are open, they look alert, but overall she's pretty lethargic. So with a female monitor, if she is cycling, um, you know, things go wrong. Uh, a female's body is very complex with what it has to do when it, when it, dis you know, when it is actually um, capable of creating new life. So there's a lot of pieces in that body um, that could go wrong. Um, so we'll keep an eye on her. I wanted to keep you guys updated. You know, I know you love uh, keeping up with the animals here. They all become special to us. And um, I'm very open and honest with what's going on with my animals. Um, I always hope for the best. I will bust my butt and so will Dr. Gillen to keep this animal healthy and alive because we love her. She's a special animal, even though she's not normally cuddly. Uh, she is a big part of what I do here. Uh, I love her so much. So I am happy to see that she had a little bit more energy today. That's promising. But I am not going to be happy until she's trying to eat my face off and rip me to shreds. That's the Lagatha that I know. That's the Lagatha that I want back here. So um, again, guys, you know, it's a big deal for me, man. Um, I... I it's just a big deal, and um, I want to make sure this animal turns around. I want to have a happy ending to this story. So, okay, there you go. That's what's going on here at the camp. I hate it when I have to do these videos. They're not fun. I don't like videos where, you know, we have animals that are not well. But this is how we learn. And I'll be straight with you. If there are any monitor keepers out there uh, who have any guesses, um, I'm happy to hear them. Please uh, leave a comment below. We all learn together here on this channel. Um, I just don't know what more I can say and do except what I'm doing right now. Aggressively getting nutrients into her. We're getting antibiotics into her. We have the proper temperatures. I want her outside. Like I said, it's been nice and warm. I'm reiterating here, but I just want her to kind of, you know, uh, uh, Dr. Mader, uh, Douglas Mader, um, I've read his book and I've had the opportunity to talk to him uh, years past. I'd like to do more with him, but he is a veterinarian uh, that lives down in the Keys and literally wrote the book on reptile medicine. He has said something, and I'm paraphrasing, okay, it's not verbatim, but he says, look, if you have a sick aquatic turtle, why would you dry dock it? That animal lives in water. You need to uh, do the work on the animal and get the animal back into an environment 
that it lives in so that it can heal the way it's supposed to. These animals are designed to heal in an aquatic environment. Um, I'm just basically taking that, look at her moving, look at her moving a bit. I'm, I'm basically interested in taking this animal, doing the treatment on her, and then putting her into an environment that she's most comfortable in. A box is not necessarily what she's most comfortable in. So we've got good temps, we've got greenery, I want to give this animal a reason to live. So there you go. That's what's going on. Hey, Lobo, come on, Bob. Come on, Lobo. Watch, he'll come. This guy is a character. Uh, I love the new addition to the camp. Here he comes. I love the new addition to the camp. And, and I just want to say, Lobo has been so good with the tortoises and all the other animals. He doesn't bark at them. He's not trying to bite them. And um, I've just been having a blast trying to, to no Lobo. No, Lobo, that's not a toy. I've been having a blast teaching this tortoise. Uh, did I say tortoise? I got tortoise on the brain. Dog, uh, he's a good boy. So, all right, everyone. Um, I usually keep him on a leash, but today I wanted him to be able to move around. So I don't want Kate to yell at me because we need to be consistent with the puppy dog. Come on in, buddy. Come on, Lobo. Come on, get in there, you. He's a good boy. He listens pretty well. So there you go. Lobo is a cool dog and let's get this, uh, Let's get this lizard healed up. All right, again, any monitor guys out there, if you had anything similar with a croc monitor or a monitor, please let me know. I'm very interested to hearing. I have spoken to Kevin McCurley also, and I'm doing everything that he told me to do as well. All right, guys, let's keep our fingers crossed and keep our uh, thoughts towards Laggy. I'm gonna handle this little poopy dog right now. See you guys.